If you like watching videos about productivity, self-improvement or intentional living, you've probably come across a wide range of awesome creators, such as Nathaniel Drew, Matt Diavella, Captain Sinbad, Thomas Frank, The Bliss Bean, Joey from Better Ideas and Ali Abdul to name a few. Well, actually that is more than a few. And today we are exploring the different areas that can help you be just as productive as them. To be productive and get a ton of work done, regardless who you are, you first need to have the mindset to work hard and that you want to get things done and actually have the self-discipline to get it done. The only thing that I see that is distinctly different about me is I'm not afraid to die on a treadmill. I will not yeah, be yeah. outworked, right. period. I'm obsessed with hustle, right? It's hustle, hustle, hustle. And then just work like hell. Without this, without the mindset of wanting to be productive, the rest of the things we cover in this video won't be as helpful. Yes, things such as tools and systems are important, but without the willingness to do something, without the foundation, specific tools won't contribute as much as they could. So, how does one have the motivation to do the work or balance a multifaceted life with lots of different things? And the answer to that is having a different approach when it comes to the word motivation. You have probably said before, I can't be bothered to do this. I'm not just motivated to do X, Y, Z. And that is why we should forget about motivation and instead focus on self-discipline. The difference here is that motivation is waiting until you feel like doing something before you do it. While discipline is doing it regardless how you're feeling about doing it. And taking this approach can completely change the game in terms of our productivity. And if we start to incorporate small easy habits, habits we can do every day and slowly increase duration or intensity of said habits, becoming someone that has self-discipline to get stuff done should hopefully get easier over time. And just like Aristotle said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. There are some specific tactics, tools, and systems that we can really use to increase our productivity. There are so many out there, more than any of us can actually implement. So I thought I'd just share a few that I found quite helpful and that has been quite impactful for me. The Pareto Principle says that 80% of the results come from 20% of the input, which demonstrates the importance of focusing on what matters and what will get the results. For example, for university, I have essays that I need to do. And if I focus solely on the introduction and the conclusion and making them the best that I could possibly could, but then rush the main paragraph, I would get a really bad result compared to if I put equal amount of effort through the whole way through introduction, all the main paragraphs, conclusion, appendix, referencing. If I put equal amount of effort and probably actually a bit more effort in the main paragraphs because that's what actually matters and brings most of the results and making sure I get the most detail, get the most academic references that I can, that will bring more results. I will more likely to get a higher grade and that really shows how Focus on what matters and what will get the result is really important. Parkinson's law states that work expands to fill the time we allocate to it. Meaning if we give ourselves a time limit and a specific deadline, we are more likely to get that done faster and more efficiently compared to if we just gave ourselves a broad deadline. There are quite a few different variations of the two minute rule. One of them goes like this, is that if you have a task and it takes two minutes or less, you have to do it there and then. This is a really effective approach to take those small tasks and just get them out of the way. And another variation goes, when you're starting to build a habit, it should only take two minutes or less. This is because it'll be something manageable that you can do every single day and you can start to build up that consistency. Using a digital calendar and time blocking is something I've been doing quite consistently for over one year now and it has a big impact on my productivity and has allowed me to balance doing multiple things amongst going to university. Time blocking is essentially when you have your calendar and you block out times for different things. For example, if I have a class, that'll be time blocked in the calendar. If I have a Zoom call, that'll be time blocked in the calendar. And when I'm editing a video, that'll be time blocked in the calendar. Essentially, when I'm doing something, I'm time blocking it in the calendar. Having a to-do list and setting deadlines for those tasks has been something that's been real impactful for my productivity. And this is mainly because it creates a sense of urgency. Like if there's a deadline to do something, I'm much more likely to get it done faster and not procrastinate on it because I know I need to get this done by a certain time. And taking a tip that I heard from Thomas Frank on this one is that you can use commitment devices such as Beeminder that will have a monetary charge and you actually have to pay money if you don't do the thing that you actually set out to do. So taking notes, this is something that I really like talking about and been really interested in this whole building a second brain, personal knowledge management stuff for a year and a half now, I think. Definitely over a year, I think about a year and a half, which is essentially storing all the things you want to learn, the things you want to reflect on or have reference to at some point in digital note form. And I use a note-taking app Notion. I really like it, it has so many features. I use it to organize so many different aspects of my life. 
And I talked quite a bit about Notion and digital note taking before, so I'll link to some videos that I've made in the description. There are so many different types of productivity apps out there, arguably a bit too many. So I thought I'd just highlight a couple that have been quite helpful for me recently. One is an application called Wox, paired with Keywords Everywhere, which allows me to navigate and find files much quicker and easier. And in the long run, that will allow us to save quite a bit of time. And there's one for Mac called Alfred, which I've heard very good things about. Also, there's a Chrome extension that I use called Stay Focused, and that allows me to set time limits and block websites that might distract me from my work. And I can easily get distracted sometimes, so this has been quite helpful for me. Learning and reading can have such an impact for us. It can help us progress on the things we want to do, as well as gain a new perspective on life and the world and the different things around us. I feel like I've hardly scratched the surface on this personally and something I want to do a lot more of. And nowadays there are so many ways that we can gain this knowledge, such as from books, blog posts, podcasts and videos. And this links nicely to what I said earlier about taking notes, is that if we take notes on the things we are learning, we're more likely to remember it. And in a way we'd be able to kind of access the knowledge of the things that we learnt in an easier way. When it comes to those YouTube creators we love watching, they can only do so much by themselves. So once they're in a position to do so, they start outsourcing tasks and working with other people, such as helping them edit their videos. And this applies to any kind of company that you work in or a business that you're in. There's always more people because you can only do so much by yourself. Working with others is not only a really important life skill, especially for the working world and your career. And even if you run your own business, working with others can allow you to free up more of your limited time to things you enjoy more and the other things that take more of a priority in your life. This links nicely to my last point, which is we don't have to be productive and working all the time. Having a work-life balance is important. This, however, is something I'm still trying to figure out. I know it's something I could improve on. So that's all I'm gonna say on the topic for now. Thanks a lot for watching this video, everybody. I hope you did enjoy it. Please like and subscribe to tell the algorithm that um, this is somewhat decent and so we can push it in front of more people and help the channel grow. Otherwise, um, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys soon.